Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with a Great War mod. Last time around we managed to capture Constantinople, and now we should move on to other targets. Before I do that though, I need to go ahead and uh, kill off these troops that are retreating from the capital. I'm gonna go ahead and out resolve that one. Managed to lose 58 men, or 52 men, while the enemy lost uh, 558 men. And still, we're speaking Spanish. We're gonna be recruiting quite a lot of service battalions to hold this place down. As soon as that is done, we'll have the fleet move out to um, deliver the army to the coast of Serbia. Already I am going to send my aircrafts over to take a look at what's going on in Serbia to see what we actually what the enemy is up to there. The Russians have really dug in well and are sending in a lot of troops around Budapest. Also, I don't know if I mentioned that, that the Italians took Bavaria. And if I send my aircraft down, we're going to take a look at what's going on. No one will know. So there's quite a lot of Italians actually that have come through here. Um, the uh, Germans haven't been able to stop them, so there's uh, actually four Italian armies that have punched through and threatened the entire area here for the Germans. At the same time, the French seem to continue the strategy of going directly to Berlin. Um, rather interesting, and as someone pointed out in the comments, this is like a, a pretty common thing that they uh, keep doing that. I'm not going to punch through to Berlin, although I kind of want to capture it before the French. And given the armies they're sending right now, they might actually be able to succeed in taking it. But I'm more interested in... Or maybe I'm not, actually. Taking this would definitely, you know, kind of root out all of this. But it uh, it's not a necessary point I need to take. And maybe the secondary army could go ahead and do that. The Germans haven't moved at all. Obviously, if I started moving here uh, towards Berlin and the enemy comes to cut me off by taking this and I'm kind of stuck here in between and locked in between, it's not a great situation. So for now, we'll hold on. Um, but otherwise, I'm looking at moving there. So that could be today's battle. Uh, and then we're gonna start trying to move this army then over, land it over here, get the navy out, sink the Austro-Hungarian navy, the army continues on. We resurrect the Serbians and then we head through Croatia up to uh, Vienna. And hopefully we'll take that out. Also here, as um, Kingdom of Romania is actually allied with the Russians and are at war with the German and the Austro-Hungarian Empire, I wish to extend offer of alliance. Um, they reject it, but I'm gonna give them some technology and then surely they will agree. So now we've got the uh, Kingdom of Romania joining us in this alliance. Probably should get Portugal in on this as well, although I don't know how much they'll be able to do and if I'm not entirely mistaken Portugal's um, involvement in World War One didn't pan out too well for them even though you can imagine they maybe didn't take the biggest of parts in that war. With that said I should start to make all these moves to get into position of battle. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start ending turns and getting closer to a victory. 
We have a small Ottoman force raiding the college. We have some of the service battalion, or a single service battalion, being recruited in Constantinople. And H.P. Lovecraft's first story is published. And that's about it. I will move troops and build buildings. And here we are for yet another turn. We've got a reconnaissance plane right in the right location as well. Uh, the first one that was coming from this has already made it to Serbia. We can see what's going on there. This one, I want to kind of scout out this region right here a little bit better. More service battalions in Constantinople. We got mining facilities in Wales and a town be being built up. Wonderful. Hiram Maxim dies. And let's see. Should I be able now? Yes, I will be able to build a warehouse. That should increase the resupply in that region. But at this point, it's taken so long to build that up that, um, you know, it's kind of, I mean, I'm not going to be uh, moving back there anytime soon anyways. Um, yeah, the French are coming really close here, which... They've got two armies. I don't really like that. I don't really like that. The Italians are also moving really fast here. And they're ready to attack Stuttgart. Interesting. While the French have made no movements going through here at all. Uh, and now they've got tons of troops plus Belgian support. Yet they do not cross the river. We should see about um, maybe moving these troops at this point. Uh, although they're still very unhappy, so I might need like quite a few more troops. Another batch of service battalions to be recruited, and then I think we could move on. Also try and see about moving the army just closer so we might be able to send out the cavalry to kill these guys. Um, as they're riding around causing a ruckus. But that's it for this turn. Let's go ahead and end turn once more. Field technology advance. Motorized field ambulance. Turnip winter. What else do we have? Trained gained. George V minister. Turnip winter. So wealth generated morale and so on. Not going too well to say the least. Uh, we've got uh, airstrips being built and administration building being built up in Constantinople. Large, uh, last stagecoach robbery takes place in the Wild West. Let's go back here. We should have enough, I think, to hold down the town. So we're going to move towards the harbor. These troops going to move in. I guess we're going to have to exempt them from tax from now. Ooh, they're really unhappy. I need an additional four service battalions to hold this down. Damn. Um, hopefully that works out, though. We're moving closer. The cavalry, I'm guessing they're moving this way, so I will be able to dispatch the cavalry towards them and destroy them that way. At the same time, this army closes in. It's about two turns now to uh, end up in this position. I think we should throw this one in then towards Dramstadt. And then I do have my spy aircraft. I'm going to move it to the other side. To kind of looks like the the French else? would actually be able to take Berlin out because right now the Germans are not gathering enough troops to stop them. And then we need to see. Oh, the Italians took it. The Italians took it. I didn't even notice. The Italians bloody well took it. The Germans. Are not doing what? Well, am I allied with the Italians? Yes, I am. 
So look at what Italy has done. They've taken Tyrol region, they've taken Bavaria, and now they've also taken the Baden-Württemberg region. So that's rather interesting. The, f the French have only taken one province, and that's because I took it and then gave it to them. So the French have done really poorly. The, f the Russians have done so-so, as they may manage to push in, but then get pushed out by the Germans again. Um, they still maintain a lot of troops in Hungary. Let's get this plane in here, and then you'll head on to Croatia. Take a look at what's going on there. Nothing's going on there. But out on the Hungarian plane, we've got some troops seemingly moving towards uh, Budapest. Might have Russian troops moving the other way as well. Oh, look at that! Russian troops, Polish riflemen, lifeguard, and rifle grenadiers are moving through and attacking over here. Interesting, the Russians are really pushing through everywhere. And look at that! Now the Russians are going after Transylvania, Klausenberg. Taking that will do a lot because as it was before the Russians were moving through here. I mean, they still have to move through the awful mountains with any troops coming from that way. But now, taking out this base clears up their flank a lot because they were surrounded. Now they just have to worry about Serbia, which hopefully I will go in and deal with if it weren't for the fact that there's a massive clamor for the reform. I don't think I've seen total disarray on this level before. Obviously, the billionaire class doesn't give a shit, but the working class, 555 minus due to clamor of reform. Damn, I do think we might, you know, when once I actually get my army here, Serbia might already have liberated itself at this point. The uh, Germans and the Austrians are completely falling apart. With that said, let's once more end turn and see what our enemies and the French come up with. Aircraft detected. Oh, the Italians are laying siege to the Austrian capital. And the Russians just took this province right here. At this point, what, what's the point of me being part of this war when the... Uh, my allies are doing all the work. We barely did anything. Rasputin gets assassinated. Oh, I need yet another service battalion to actually hold this place in order. What I'm going to do now is we're going to get these out first because I want to transfer the army onto the transport ship. And then the transport ship, as it is faster, will start to move. Um, we'll move the ships with them. We'll move them with the main fleet later on. Or they'll be moving to link up with the main fleet over here. And then you will be uh, moving to land. Important here is that I will block the port before trying to land troops. I don't want them slipping out, sinking my army before I get there. Oh, the problem seems to have solved itself. Somehow. French closing in. The Germans don't seem to be sending any troops that way. So they don't seem to be very worried about the situation when they should be. They very much should be. There is an army here. Oh, and there's quite a few down here. At your service. Your Majesty so there's no shortage of German troops. They're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. As it is right now. Right. This army is uh, one step away. From being able to attack Drumstadt, taking that then this army will be moving forward. I might see, because it's, it looks like it's easier to move to Denmark to get there. 
So we might see if we can get military access through Denmark. Save up a little bit of cash and ask them for that. Um, gonna get this plane across. Get that right there. Boom. And have you fly into position. Right. And we're done. Let's go ahead and end turn once more. Technological advance, doctrine, mobile warfare. Very good. Vienna has fallen. Don't look like they're going to be able to hold it, but I mean, the place is torched. More or less by the Italians. The army moved down here. Also, I noticed something when I was looking at the map as all this was occurring. For some reason, the Germans have managed to push through and taken this. I don't know how or why or... Yeah, what? How? Uh, we got another researcher down here. Don't really like it because this place is currently under attack by these bastards constantly. Uh, mobile warfare and uh, expert politician. Great. I think what we'll do is we'll have to um, buy some cavalry units and move out there rather quickly. We'll uh, recruit a mass of cavalry. They'll ride out, kill those guys and hopefully keep the research going. And then I think, it, I guess at this point, it's already worrisome because they are within striking distance. So we are going to go ahead and block them. I am going to send... I might send two ships up, up to just check on... Well, now it's all Italian, but that might mean that the fleets have been pushed out up here. So I just want to keep an eye on that. No, clearly there's nothing there, so we'll be moving back. My aircraft here, check on the Russians. There are uh, Austro-Hungarian troops ready to move back and retake this. Uh, interesting. We might have to move troops here uh, more so than all these stupid service battalions. Even with me exempting the region from tax, I'm currently needing to hold, what, um, 16 service battalions just to hold this in place. The French troops should just be right outside of Berlin, shouldn't they? We've got two German armies moving as quickly as they can towards Berlin, but it looks like Berlin is going to fall. They had one, yeah, they have an army there. I don't know why they're not mobilizing that to the defense of Berlin. Odd. Is there any, any attempts to move back and take this? Clearly not. And now when the, the side of the river is clear, n no extra troops is being sent. Huh. Interesting. Do they have... I, I'm guessing the French should have... Uh, because they allied with the Italians before me. So hopefully they should have a, the ability to march through. Suddenly the Italians are getting very big, as it were. With that, we're coming to today's battle. Edmund Allenby with his newly recruited army. A lot of foreign troops in terms of the Indian battalions... King's Africa Rifle, West Indies Regiment, and also these Canadian shock troops will be set in against the town of Dremstad. I think, well, I mean, in terms of heavy artillery, we've got more, they, the enemy got more cavalry, but that doesn't mean much. They do have a machine gun, we do not have a machine gun. And in terms of the ability of our troops, our troops are actually more experienced or well trained than the German troops are. So they outnumber us by 400 men, but most of that is cavalry that were easily slaughtered. So 
without further ado, let's go ahead and take out the Crown Prince of Bavaria and uh, open up the road even further towards Berlin. And here is my deployment. Kind of interesting here as we've got now the Indian troops being recruited into the uh, army. And first battle they're in is a winter battle. Not that there's, there isn't snow in India, but, you know, it's not it's exactly the picture, the, what you picture yourself when you think about India and Indian troops. Also have the um, first King's Africa rifles over here, and then the West Indian regiment right over there. Right. So I'm splitting into two groups. We've got the Indians going to advance through the center. Then we've got the West Indies plus the two infantry units here. And the King's African Rifles going to move on this side. Up towards this house right here. On this side we've got the Canadians going to make an attempt on this side. And they've got the cavalry to ride in quickly support them. Sappers laying bombs in the center to stop the enemy's advance. And right here is our heavy artillery, so we're starting with really heavy field guns. And then the heavy howitzers, and back here we've got the super heavy siege howitzers. So they're not even featured on the map, they're so bloody huge that we just have these spotters for them. With that said, let's go ahead and start the battle. I'm going to immediately send the... Um, Ooh, that looks like that's machine gun fire coming at these sappers. Indian troops will advance. And the West Indies Battalion, mixed West Indies Battalion, will advance as well. My Canadians are sitting here. Actually, there's the machine gun, so that was something else they were firing on us over there. Germans are taking the bait and they're moving into the valley. The machine gunners are moving and they're coming up. They're going to get flanked by the Canadians as the Canadians now charge out of their hiding spot. And the cavalry's moved forward as well. Two units of sappers going to move behind the Indian troop. And they're going to also make sure that they hold fire. The Indian troop needs to advance a little bit faster. I'm going to move up the general as well. He's going to support from the back there. All right, we've started firing here. The cavalry got in the way, but we are killing quite a few of the crew of the machine gunners. But also shooting down lots of cavalry in the process as well. Oh, we had a massive explosion. Took out a lot of the Germans. But they seem to have missed the secondary bomb right there. Let's filter the um, the sappers to the flanks of these formations. So they can take part in it. General's right behind his men, ready to support them. I'm going to go ahead and inspire this one right here. Why is there no fire from the artillery? Gonna ask the Canadians to make a leap forward here. Get better position on the enemy. I don't think the machine guns ever set up to fire upon us. Because the cavalry is in the way. Got heavy artillery striking the German forces. What I can see here though is a heavy concentration of German troops right here. So I want to blow that to pieces. As uh, the center is more or less dealt with, or I don't see any um, idea in pu pushing more troops to deal with this, I'm gonna move this one forward to attack the large part there. Right, the Canadians gonna move forward even further. And then the two cavalry units. I'm hoping to drag the fire of the dragoons. You know what? We'll have them move like this. Hold fire. And then move behind. 
set up and then strike through the back kind of towards the center of our enemies. Uh, we're firing a little bit on this light mortar group. Let's move forward. Yet another step forward. Canadians now hopefully dealing with the enemy cavalry. I'm going to tell one of my cavalry units to fire at will. Might get one shot on there towards the enemy cavalry before they ride around. The idea here is that they're going to strike the 70th infantry from the back. The enemy over here was completely destroyed. I'm going to target the cavalry over there with the heavy guns. The other two should be focusing in on this. Right, let's have the cavalry swing around. Enemy cavalry is gone. I'm going to have the Canadians now rush these fools. Canadians, of course. Oh, I thought the Canadians... Because it was Canadian shock troops, I thought they would have. Um, I thought they would have uh, grenades, but they didn't. Also, they have the grenade symbol. Here comes the cavalry to break up that unit. We got our cavalry moving through here. I'm not interested in getting shot to pieces by those guys, so I'm going to just push through with the cavalry. And then the mixed battalion or mixed brigade is going to move through there. Surprised that the center held as long as it did, given that they rode onto that bloody bomb. Cavalry's gone through, there's nothing left over here. Cavalry will now turn around. This unit's breaking, everything's breaking. It's only the general that is holding on, and he just lost tons of his bodyguard. Because of uh, the 9th Rifle Regiment. As this is a town battle, there we go, we have victory. As it is a town battle, everyone will die, so I'm gonna spare the Prince. No point in killing him, he will obviously, you know. According to game mechanics, it will still be killed, but uh, in my roleplay version, he will spare him from getting killed as he leaves the field over there. The enemy easily dismissed and destroyed. The enemy army was destroyed within seven minutes. And there we rode down the rest of it. A little bit of a... I was hoping, because they have the grenade symbol, I was definitely expecting the, grenadi uh, the Grenadians, the Canadians, to be able to throw grenades. Which ki kind of makes them not as useful as a shock unit. Especially since they have uh, 100 less men, but they can deploy ahead of the battle zone, so I guess that's something. Right, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the statistics of this battle. Here's the result of the battle. We managed to lose about 500 men of our 2,400 men army. The enemy army, of course, lost everything, including the Crown Prince of Bavaria. In terms of kills, it's the Sappers, no surprise there. Germans marched quite a few battalions onto that explosion 
followed by Indian infantry with 330 rifle cavalry following up, then heavy howitzer, then more Indians. Canadian shock troopers surprisingly turn up here, um, having 170 highest losses, rifle cavalry followed by infantry, Indian infantry, but not super heavy losses I must say. West Indians, no one really gained a Chevron or one I can see here. Actually, Heavy Howitzer gained one, but that was about it. With that, we have taken Drumstadt. It's not a victory condition region, so I might be inclined to hand it over to the French, but there's so many Germans still in this region, so we might hold off on that. Just a little bit, anyways. With the flank secure, Sir Douglas Haig will advance into enemy territory. And he will follow up whatever the French are doing over there. Our thing is will be to secure the port here. We'll secure the town and then the port. And then... I'm, I can only hope that the French are crushed by German counterattack. And that I will be able to go in and capture Berlin. At the same time, I mean the Russians and the Italians seem unstoppable here as they both kind of crashed through the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Hopefully my ships will arrive. I think we'll continue a little bit here, even after the first battle, just because everything has gone so smoothly, at least up to this point. So I will go ahead and end turn, and... Uh, We'll see if we can't maybe at least land the troops and ready ourselves for the liberation of Serbia. I have here the opportunity to intercept an army that's coming from the um, the Württemberg. No, this is not the Württemberg region. This is the um, Hessel Kessel region um, that is moving up towards the Rhineland currently. We can intercept, and I think we should, because if I don't, the next turn the French will, they don't have a, they don't care about this region, so they'll move through, and I'll be left trying to defend this with just three battalions against all these Germans. So yes, we will intercept, and we'll drag our French allies in kicking and screaming into a battle and actually aid us in this case. Not much to do in terms of our deployment. Currently, we're getting shelled by the enemy. I'm going to move into the woods to try and hide for a bit. Or at least not take as many casualties as I would in the open. And then we're going to see what the French do. They turn up in the flank of uh, the German army. So it should go quite well for them. One would hope. Now, the problem here is, of course, the Germans got two sets of machine guns facing right where the French are coming. And, oh, they just shot their own general almost. Uh... We might have a mutiny on our hands. Could be that the French general... I could understand them if the French general has ordered them to charge straight into these machine guns. Looks like... Uh, you know, the French have a good opportunity here to strike and kill these machine guns before they're able to open fire. Doesn't look like that's the case. The general is about to get shot down. He still holds on, though, the brave old bastard. German's machine guns have. Oh. I was about to say they've yet to open fire, but it looks like they might just seem to have trouble figuring out where they're gonna shoot. French cavalry is getting slaughtered by German infantry. Might be time to send in our three units somewhere. 
We wouldn't be able to budge our way through there. Let's quickly make our way over here and see if we can't aid the French troops. French general just got killed. And the cavalry got slaughtered. Let's see, there's more cavalry on the way though. Riding straight towards the machine guns. It's going to be key to battle to destroying these because otherwise the French reinforcement units are going to get destroyed. They are moving in a good way though through the hills here, avoiding you know, direct like a direct uh, attack on the um, machine guns but they should do they should just draw swords and go directly for the machine guns not trying to ki constantly try and shoot them the thing i'm worried about if there's lots of machine guns left when all the cavalry is gone and it's going to be just infantry coming through right there we go Oh, the Lancers! The Lancers! The Lancers did it! Come on! Kill the machine guns, Lancers! They were shattered before they destroyed the second one. But they're no longer manning the machine guns. So we got that going for us. So complete mess here on the start. Okay, they're remanning it. My troops are coming in. Uh, we got the French machine guns coming through now. And they are opening up fire. So now we've got machine gun versus machine gun here. And we're going to see a lot of German troops falling due to that. I'm going to see about moving my troops quite tired at this point. We're gonna move them up here. I have a pretty good shot at taking out their leader and then I can get quite close here, get up in the flank and start destroying these. I would prefer it if the French actually deploy the bloody guns as soon as possible. Well the machine guns are doing good work because they gained a chevron. Our troops are about to come into play here. Could possibly even fire from the, the setup I have right now towards this unit. Aid the French a little bit in their struggle. I'm thinking the, uh, the machine gun is probably targeting this and are not able to destroy them. So it's actually working out quite well for us here. Okay, now we're no longer kind of part of the battle. I'll have my general. Oh, they're losing troops. Oh, the, the enemy machine guns over there. Shit. They've got yet more machine guns. Let's move all our troops towards here then. German troops charging in. Destroying a French artillery, which I don't like because we definitely would have needed those artillery to take out the enemy's machine gun all the way over there. Unless the French have a plan to just brute force their way through everything. At least at least the French machine guns are actually doing good work. Oh, the Germans were pushed off. The artillery wasn't completely destroyed. The 11th Infantry is doing good work. The German machine guns have stopped firing. My guys are getting up on the ridge. We'll be able to put down flank fire on this destroy it and then we can see about moving on to the rest of the uh, enemy army although at this point my troops are very very tired oh 
just as they kind of came into safety of within my men, the unit was destroyed. Okay, machine guns are gone. They're not going to contribute anymore to this battle. Doing good work here. I think we should actually order this unit to target the enemy dragoons. We've lost a hundred men out of this unit. It's not a great track record there. Let's see if I can't get this one onto the slope here. And then the general will be able to sit kind of on top. So we get all our units firing on the enemy. And hopefully we'll be able to clear out this French moving forward. Hopefully uh, going to destroy our enemies. I think we're shooting our own. It's kind of hard to tell. It's not actually hard to tell. It's because of the angle these guys are shooting. Enemy cavalry is coming around. Oh, now the French are shooting my unit. God damn it, they're shooting up their own units as well. The amount of... Uh, oh, I shouldn't actually move into the range, right, of the... Where the French are firing. At least my general is doing a little bit on taking out that Dragoon unit. The French completely killed their own unit there. God. And we're so tired. Like we're barely moving anywhere. No, the French doing. Are they gonna charge? Gonna charge the bloody dragoons, are they? Might hold fire then. Not to shoot our allies. Alright, you're gonna deal with that then? Then I'm gonna move my troops down into the valley. Can you just deploy the artillery already? Oh, that w The bloody machine guns were killing my men as well. At this point I have about 200 men left. When I started off with 600. So we've lost about 60% of our force. I'm gonna send my troops towards this uh, forested area and we'll try and... You know what, I'll send you off the field. We're gonna move around, strike that hopefully, and then... God knows what the French are gonna do. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. This battle is... Uh, not going well at all, to say the least, and the Germans still have one machine gun left, which is definitely the worrisome. The, must rest a while. And the fact that the French haven't deployed their cannons and they're taking loads of fire. How are they able to... Uh, now can kind of understand why the uh, French didn't want to go anywhere. Not that my track record in this battle have been very good in terms of the placement where uh, we not only shoot each other but the French ended up shooting us as well. Looks to be go going really well here though. Mostly because the Germans are shooting each other. And hopefully we'll be able to take out the machine gun as well. Once the machine gun is gone and once the German artillery here is gone. Oh, look at that. Now they've uh, stopped. Not deployed the guns, though. Right, the machine gun is gone. The unit is gone. 
Descending in the rest here. We are able to target their artillery. I think we m might want to get even better positions to try and deal with them. French columns getting torn up as they move through here. Luckily for the French, we've kind of built up this to be as this area to be a supply hub. Are they going to charge? They're going to get close enough almost to get bayonet range. The Germans have two units left. Their artillery is getting broken down. There's only ten men left there. 105 there and 169. Really tired here, but we're doing good work and soon enough this artillery is gone. This one will be broken down as well. And oh! I guess the Germans gave up there. Um, high losses on my side. Very high losses on the French side. But high losses on the German side as well. Hmm. It's almost like it is World War I. With high losses. Oh, high losses? High losses. All around. Luckily for me, the unit survived, but not a great uh, turnout here. So the Germans attacked with 1,400 men. They lost 1,100, so only 300 remaining. The, the combined force of the Allies deployed 3,000 men, whereof half, more than a half, were lost. 1,700 men were lost. And about 1,300 men remaining out of 3,000. And in terms of that, we can see that the enemy killed about 1,300. So that means that we killed about 400 men of our own. Uh, which is not a good track record. But there we have it anyways. We were able to hold on to the region. And I guess that's something. The Germans sending in an even greater force. More machine guns. Looking at how, just how torn up the French army is. There's no way I'm going to order an intercept on this one. Just because we've got 1,200 men. The Germans now outnumber us. By, by what? Um, 1,200 men. They're twice the numbers. Plus their guns will actually be deployed. And the only thing we'll really get out of the French is the one machine gun. No. We'll not intercept here. So we're kind of having a disaster going on in the back of our line where everything is possibly being set up to get cut off from our uh, resupply and everything. And this base, which I've actually put kind of a lot of effort building up, is now heavily threatened by this big German army. We've got commercial sector and medium barracks in Constantinople. Ernst Junger awarded the Iron Cross. Um, third wound, da da da. Anyways, we're going to need to move our troops immediately over there to deal with that. I think uh, we can... Yeah, I don't even need to uh, exempt the reading from tax. We're going to move as soon as possible. We're not going to be able to reinforce the region. And I won't be able to deploy any troops there. Well, here we can actually get service battalions. That could actually be good, just because they take one turn to recruit. Right, so that wasn't great. I kind of don't want to help the French in their attack on Berlin, so I'm just going to stay over here. We're going to check what they're doing, what the Germans are, if they're sending in any uh, reinforcement or anything. There are troops around, but they're not moving them in. I thought I had a spy... There we go, there's my spy plane. 
go ahead and check out what is here in the east. They've got plenty of they've got three full stacks within reach. They're aiding here and uh, they're building up this region quite a bit. Hmm. At the same time. Tr the uh, Italians are trying to rebuild here. There's definitely going to be a revolt. They can't do anything about that. How oh yeah, how did it go for the... Okay, so the Russian siege clearly didn't work out for them over there. They've uh, removed some of the troops from this area. I will now be able to make my landing. And... Huh. Um, I can make my landing here, but it will take a while to march through this to get to road. I guess the best, or I could land here and go directly take Croatia and then head over here. Well, I think we'll land. We'll land about here. I think that, and then we can move through, or maybe here. I guess here is better. It's advising me to land the troops there. Then the troops will move over to Sarajevo. And then from Sarajevo to Belgrade. We will, however, detach cavalry. That's going to push out the enemy fleet. I'm going to go ahead and bring... The entire fleet together, and then push that those guys out, and destroy them. Did I? Did the cavalry? The cavalry isn't recruited yet. It is coming though. As the uh, resistance to foreign occupation is dampening, I'm hoping to be able to disband some of these troops, but also enable tax to be uh, gathered in that region. Right, so it's late January 1917. It's going well for us. The Russians are still going to suffer their revolution. So it's going to be an absolute catastrophe over there. So I'm not entirely sure if they'll be able to hold on to what they have gained here in Olmutz, Budapest, and Lemberg. They might be the only regions they will hold on to. Or maybe they will even be revitalized when the uh, Bolsheviks take over. Who knows? Uh, for now we don't know. I'm going to take my spy plane here just because I noticed that I didn't check this area. As we're now landing troops, what's this? Oh, they're moving away. They're moving to Sarajevo because uh, of the fact that um, this university was lost. Kranz was lost. Anyways, we've landed troops here. That's wonderful. We're making progress. A little bit of a setback right here. And uh, as soon as this is done, we'll send the navy back and we'll start a, um, a massive upgrade of our navy. As uh, I didn't expect the Germans to actually build quite a bit on their navy, as we can see here. So it's going to be a massive naval battle as we try to fight our way through here. We're going to have to do that if we're going to try and support the white movement in Russia. Or I could actually do it from Constantinople, couldn't I? Um, we could recruit another... We could recruit some ships. Sail troops across. Start attacking the communists. Giving regions to the white movement. And so on. Um, is this still on fire? No, it isn't. Good. With that said, we're going to end the episode right here. So, I'll say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.